Part 2. Silver Snow. Harpstring Moon. The Impregnable Fortress. After seizing the Great Bridge of Burden, the Resistance Army starts making preparations to invade Imperial territory when a surprising piece of information comes to light. Emergency! In Gronder Field! There's a... it's... We are in the middle of a military conference. Please, calm yourself and tell us what is the matter. Yes, sir. It seems the Kingdom and Alliance armies clashed with Imperial forces on Gronder Field. Amid the chaos of three armies battling each other out there, the Imperial army was routed. Edelgard sustained heavy wounds and retreated to Enbar. Well then, I suppose... Sir, the Kingdom army was also decimated and... His Highness Dimitri has been counted among the dead. What? The Alliance sustained heavy casualties as well, and the whereabouts of their leader, Claude, is currently unknown. Unknown? I... It must have been a brutal fight. Missing. Let us hope the Master Tactician's great mind is not forever lost to this world. It must have been a brutal fight. Our only solace is that Edelgard sustained severe injuries. It must have been a brutal fight. To have lost his highness. How tragic. Our only solace is that Edelgard sustained severe injuries. <sighs> this is all quite unexpected, but we must find a way to use this situation to our advantage. The Empire's main force has suffered a mighty blow. Edelgard will most certainly avoid the front lines. Now is the time for us to infiltrate the Empire and aim for the capital. But... What will happen to the Lords of the Old Kingdom and Alliance territories? They have lost many leaders and soldiers. I'm sure they must be hard at work rebuilding. We will foster cooperation by aiding them through the local churches. The remaining Lords of the Kingdom and Alliance must join together to form one union. And you should be the one to lead them. What do you say? Indeed, it is a question for another day. We must focus on our battle with the Empire. For now, what is our next course of action? We must choose a place within the Empire that will give us solid defenses for our front line. That will become the foothold for our invasion of the capital. There is one massive fortress that boasts the greatest defenses in the Empire. Fort Mercius. But we will stand no chance if we attack by traditional means. We must gather everyone and devise a plan of attack. It has been a lifetime, hasn't it, Professor? Yes, I thought so too. I wanted to slice her throat, but I did not get the chance. I let people die, and yet, I still stand. Rodrigue, Gustav, to do. You sound just like Rodrigue. A reason. Everyone gives such complicated advice, and I can never quite grasp it all. That is why, Professor, I came here to explain my decision. I have no resources to take back the Kingdom Capital, much less to defeat the Empire. And that is why... Professor, 
You will catch a cold sleeping in a place like this. Is something the matter? Hmm? I am the only one here. Were you dreaming? I can't say for certain that you were dreaming. But if someone did come here to see you, that person only wanted you to see their face. Perhaps they wanted you to guide them. We are just about to pass through Grander Field. We should be in view of Fort Mercius soon. It looks like the battle made quite an impact. The Imperial Army has lost some of its luster. We should be able to invade the fort without too much trouble. Yes, we must win for them as well. Professor, the soldiers have finished changing into their disguises. We are ready to masquerade as Imperial troops and infiltrate the fort. I believe this was your idea, was it not? It is impossible to take Fort Mercius with a frontal assault. We must take it from within. We will infiltrate the fort as Imperial troops and kill the enemy general. All preparations are complete. According to the scout reports, my father and the others are not inside the fort. It seems they were moved to the front lines of the kingdom's western region. The Death Knight became the general of this fort after the battle at Grander Field. What? The Death Knight? I think I'll be taking a break now. You guys go on ahead. Bernadetta, you cannot be hiding on a field. The enemy will be seeing you. No place to hide. I guess I have no choice but to fight. The Death Knight. I hear that he is counted among the greatest heroes of the Empire at the moment. We never determined whether or not he was truly Yuritsa. So, in capturing Mercius, we have encountered another obstacle. I suppose you have a point. If we challenge him again with conviction, we are sure to attain victory. The impenetrable fortress city of Aryan Road goes by the name Silver Maiden. Yet she pales in comparison to Fort Mercius, the stubborn old general. Those who approach are driven back, but once we make our way in, it's all ours. That fort has been brought to life on stage for countless operas. Let us commence. We must puncture a hole in the Empire's defenses. That man approaches. Will Death's scythe claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? At Grander Field, the armies of the Kingdom, Alliance, and Empire collide. The three forces engage in a fierce battle, each suffering significant losses before deciding to withdraw. Seeing an opportunity, the Resistance Army quickly plots an invasion of Imperial territory. In order to gain a foothold in the Empire, they will attempt to capture Fort Mercius.
Report. A group posing as Imperial soldiers has infiltrated. They seem to be affiliated with the Church. Close the gates. Leave no survivors. More fighting. So sorry. Much needed. I'm in. You've had this fun. Give the goddess my regards, yeah? Guide me well. Onward. Apologies. You defeat me, left. What's my strategy? Ready and able. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I must lead them well. Sunshine. Ha! Oh! Only I shall know how you die here. Why not? Let's clean up. Going for the kill. Thinning their numbers. No turning back now. strategy.
expected. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. Give the goddess my regards, yeah? Sassy. Good to fight for a cause. Ha! 
It won't be in vain. I'll use this power for the greater good. you. You earned this! I must stay the course. Someone's fired up. Don't expect any sympathy. finished it. Ah! 
This could turn the tides. Thank you. Destiny unfurls. Haven't withered away just yet. Defeat me, left. Sight to see. You earned this. I have made my peace. Growing stronger suits me. It feels good to have you here. Not let him get away. Circle around and cut off his retreat. Our power is 
yours. There's our opening. Joke of a life drags on. You're fresh out of luck. Stay the course. Well done. <laughs> really wanted to die. Winning is what matters. Everything I've done has led to this. Feels good to fight for our cause. More effective.
A necessary sacrifice. I fight for one reason and one alone. Good work. <laughs> I must stay the course. You will not escape, Death Knight. Today, you will be unmasked. My true identity has no value. I will be the judge of that, once I've seen your face. If you desire to slay me, 
follow. The appointed hour is at hand. Haven't withered away just yet. We've come this far. We cannot let him escape now. Everyone, after the Death Knight! It is coming. <laughs> Leave now, or all of you will die. that have been. It was almost reminiscent of that terror of legend. We haven't the time for stories. All we can do is retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden and assess our situation. <sighs> well now, that marching was nearly as trying as the battle itself. We wasted a few days, but now that we're this far back, we should be safe. Or so I believe. I still can't believe it. The fort was destroyed, just like that. And the Death Knight knew about the attack. Was it the Empire's doing? <laughs> Guess that means they'd rather destroy the fort than lose it. <sighs> Whatever the case, we need to get our bearings and decide what we're going to do next. We all have many questions. But for now, we must focus on our next move. What? If we return to the monastery, then our situation is sure to... Ah, yes, I see. to hide your intentions from me. So, we make it appear as though we have ceased our invasion by returning to Garrig Mach. Then we divide up our soldiers and infiltrate nearby areas of the capital, right under the Empire's nose. Finally, we gather all of those soldiers somewhere we can get to swiftly from Garrig Mach and proceed to invade Enbar. Is that what you are thinking? Are you serious? You know there's no guarantee that we won't be spotted by the enemy, right? If we fail to convene, we will be isolated inside the Empire and be... utterly obliterated. I will be embracing the nearness of death if I am needing to. With each other. That sounds dangerous. Really incredibly dangerous. Make no mistake. If we fail in this plan, there will be no coming back from it. Are you sure about this, Professor? I see. If you are resolved, then I will follow suit. We may be weaker, and the terrain may be against us, but all we can do is use our resources as best we can. That, and pray for the blessings of the Goddess. <laughs> <laughs> 